Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dark Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Extreme Z Battle for the Physical LR Super Boo with Gohan Absorbed or Buhan or however you want to call him. Uh, but we're going to be taking a look at how to beat his Extreme Z Battle. Now with any legendary Extreme Z Battle, it's pretty straightforward. As you guys should know, you need to activate the legendary power link. So it's very crucial that you activate the legendary power link as you need to activate it to do any significant damage. It's not that the unit needs to have it, it's that it needs to be active. So to achieve this, you're going to need to incorporate a couple of LRs into your team. Now in terms of lead, there are four major leads and they're all LRs for this category. So you have the Strength Super Saiyan Goku, you have the Tech Piccolo Power Awakening, Strength Goku and Vegeta, and you also have the physical Goku and Piccolo. So that is basically your roster choices. Uh, in terms of us, we're not gonna use any of them. We're gonna use the free to play strength Vegito. However, this will put us under a lower lead and make things a bit slower. So if you can change this, definitely do. We're also going to incorporate some free to play units on our side to activate a lot of the legendary power links. Uh, mainly so that we can make our lives a bit easier. We're going to be using the Super Battle Road slash Extreme Super Battle Road uh, trunks. We're also going to be using Super Vegito. We're then going to fill up the rest of our roster with a lot of free-to-play strength characters, being Strength Super Saiyan trunks and Strength Krillin, as well as Strength Master Roshi. Uh, there's no specific reason why as to doing this. It's just more that I want to show you the kind of the bare minimum you can get away with. If you are building a team, please add as many LRs as possible, but just remember you need a bit of key. So a unit like Android 17, who I'm going to be putting in here, might help you out a little bit, because you do want to do 18 keys and do damage. If you are to build a full strength team, I would suggest having double, or at least if you have the strength Super Saiyan Goku, using him, because he's a 200% lead. Uh, but as a friend lead, I would suggest taking the Goku and Vegeta. Even if you have your own Goku, and Goku and Vegeta, definitely consider that. If you're looking to build a sub-team, there are a couple of sub-teams you could potentially build. Uh, for example, you could build a Time Traveler's team under Physical Trunks, which would be fine. Or you could build a Final Trump Card Power of Wishes team under the Physical Goku and Vegeta. Or you could even build a Power Beyond Super Saiyan team under the AGL Goku and Vegeta as well. There are some alternative team builds. Uh, ideally, you'd go battle of wits, but uh, because we have such a strong free-to-play option here, I'll probably just use that. But you could definitely build a very good time travelers team here, uh, and you could also build a pretty solid um, Power Beyond Super Saiyan team. So it's just going to depend on basically what you have and how you want to run it. Now, in terms of rotations, obviously linking up your LRs is super important. Uh, what we're going to do is we're basically going to just have the Goku and Vegito on one rotation, link them up hopefully with Vegito, and then just have Trunks kind of floating in and out to link up and do a bit of extra damage. The other rotation is just going to be Krillin and then Trunks together. They will tank more than fine, they'll do their jobs more than fine, and then we just float the rest, Master Roshi, etc, etc. So pretty set rotations and pretty easy to do. Uh, and honestly, this was uh, really not too hard. Um, I think the artificial life forms one for the Goku and Vegeta is actually harder than this one. Uh, this was pretty safe, you know. I'm not gonna lie, it did take a little bit longer. The damage was a little bit lower, but the team itself was a lot safer in terms of damage. Way more consistent, uh, way more reliable, survived very easily, and yeah, just in general was very, very strong. So I was very impressed and overall very happy with their performance now of course um you know if you are struggling don't worry this is a hard event it's something that's not just for new players to complete it is something that actually requires you to build certain teams have kind you know lr units it's not something you're going to start to can and do straight away so don't be alarmed just go back work on your team look at your options see what you can do to improve your chances and yeah, if you can't finish it, don't worry, it will come back at a later stage. But if you can finish it, even if you don't have the units, try and finish it now. Uh, it's just highly advisable. But yeah, that's it. That's literally it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. 
uh, as always. And yeah, I think physical Buhans uh, EZA looks really cool. Can't wait to take a look at it in detail in this review video. I am fortunate enough to have him at 100% in the hidden potential system, so I'm very excited uh, to see how that goes. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much going to be it for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, take care, stay safe, and uh, thanks for watching. And if you need any help, leave a comment, and I'll gladly get back to you, as always, to give you guys any kind of help that you need. Until then, take care, stay safe, and bye.